good evening friends today we are discussing about gear cutting on the milling machine so let's see what is the process or the steps in gear cutting on the milling machine the first step in the gear cutting is to mount and align the dividing head or the index head along with tail stock on the horizontal milling machine dividing head or the index head is required to index or to divide the workpiece that is the gear blank to the equal number of the teeth or the divisions that required to be cut on the gear blank the second step in gear cutting is the mounting of the gear milling cutter required to cut the teeth on the gear blank or the workpiece on the cutter arbor and checking for the concentricity during the running or the cutting of the gear blank the third step in gear cutting is the clamping of the workpiece or the gear blank between the center and setting it to the center of the cutter the fourth step is to adjust the sector arms for the indexing head depending upon the number of teeth and the geometry of the gears required we will adjust the sector sector arms on the index plate using the crank pin the first step or the fifth step during the gear cutting is the setting of the rotations or the revolution and the feed required for the teeth cutting the sixth step in gear cutting on the milling machine is the cutter should have slightly workpiece that means a cutter should take the slight cut on the workpiece before actual cutting of the teeth on the gear blank the seventh step in gear cutting is the we will withdraw the workpiece or the gear blank after the slight cut of the cutter on the gear blank out of the range of the cutter and we will lift the gear cutter the eighth step on the gear cutting is the milling of the first tooth space that is means after the cutting of the first teeth we will have the space between the uh, space between the teeth and we will mill the that space for next cutting of the gear teeth so we will withdraw the work from or the workpiece or the gear blank from the cut and we will turn the indexing handle by the teeth pitch or the milling of the for the milling of the next tooth space so that can be indexing that can be done by using the turning the crank on the dividing head uh, depending upon the number of teeth required and we will do the cutting of the next teeth tooth and we will repeat this till the cutting of the all the required teeth on the gear cutting so let's see the demonstration of the gear cutting on the milling machine using the video so let's see the uh, number of turns required for the cutting of the 48 teeth on the gear blank we know that the ratio of the indexing plate generally it is the uh, 40 as to v1 that is the 40 number of teeth on the warm wheel that means after the revolution of 40 uh, turns of the crank we will get the one full rotation of the warm wheel so these are the numbers that are present on the index plate 15 16 17 18 19 and uh, these are the all the numbers that may present in the different kinds of the index plate so let's see how to cut the 48 uh, teeth on the gear blank so we will divide this 40 by 48 that will give the 5 upon 6 that means if you can multiply by denominator and the numerator by 3 we will get the 15 as to 18 that means we need to turn 15 holes on 18 hole index plate that is present here for each cut let's see how to cut the 25 teeth on the gear blank and we will see the demonstration of this 25 teeth cutting so we will divide this 40 by 25 so we will get as 8 by 5 that means 1 3 by 5 that means one full revolution of a crank and three holes revolution on the or we will multiply this 3 by 5 in by denominator and numerator by 3 we will get the 1 9 by 15 that means we will rotate 9 holes on 15 
whole index plate. So let's see how to turn and get uh, cutting of the gear teeth on the milling machine. So this is the indexing head or the dividing head. This is three jaw chuck. This is the index plate having different number of holes on the different circumferences like 15, 16, 17, 18, 20 like that depending on the index plate. This is the sectum arms. We will set it for the moving number of holes past the complete revolution of the crank. So in case of the 25 teeth gear we have done the calculation that means one full revolution of this crank and after the one full revolution of this crank we will move nine holes on 15 hole index plate circumference so this is the we will do the one full revolution of a crank and we will set the sector arms for this uh, nine holes rotation on 15 hole index plate circumference so when we rotate this crank the ultimately the head spindle will rotate by that amount and this head spindle is attached with the workpiece or the gear blank so we will set the workpiece or the gear blank on the machine center and uh, we will adjust the gear cutter or the milling cutter attached with the horizontal milling machine So we will take the cutting of the first teeth and then we will index or move the crank for the next teeth cutting. So here is the, this one is a rotating, uh, this rotating is the gear cutter which cuts this work piece or the gear blank. So this gear blank as we see that this gear blank or the work piece is mounted on this arbor supported by this uh, tailstock so we will make the first light cut on the gear blank using this uh, clockwise rotating gear cutter so we have given the feed as this moves This arbor is fixed in between three jaw chuck and this particular tail stock. So this is the cutting of the gear blank or the work piece, the first uh, tooth space. So we will cut this uh, or the we will repeat this cutting one after the another after indexing the dividing head depending upon number of teeth. So in this case we are cutting 25 teeth on the gear blank or the work piece. So this depth of cut and uh, feed that has been adjusted as per the depending upon the number of calculation or the number of teeth required on the gear blank. So we are retracted after cutting of the first gear tooth space. Now we need to now we will move to the indexing of the dividing head for the next tooth space cutting. So we will take the first or the one full rotation of the crank and nine hole rotation past the one full rotation of the crank on the 15 hole index plate. So we will take this first one revolution full revolution and they will move nine holes on this 15 hole circumference index plate and then we will fix this 
crank pin in the index plate and we will give the depth of cut or the feed for the cutting for the next foot as we have seen after indexing this one full rotation and nine holes on 15 hole indexing plate our this gear blank or the workpiece has been indexed to the next tooth space past this first teeth space so this is the taking the second cut by this gear cutter the next tooth space the same amount of feed and depth of cut has been given so by making the tooth space we will get the one teeth in between these two tooth space we will repeat this process for the all the 25 teeth on the gear blank so for next tooth space cutting we will again rotate this crank by one full rotation and additional nine holes past the first one full rotation of the crank on the 15 holes circumference index plate so I cut this tooth teeth space we will see this there is one teeth hand be generated between this these two teeth space we will repeat for the next two space the same process so again we will rotate this crank by one full revolution and nine additional holes on 15 hole circumference index plate and we will adjust this sector arms again we are giving the feed and uh, depth of cut for the cutting next tooth space so depending upon the calculation of the gear teeth number of gear teeth we will calculate the number of uh, revolution of the cranks required and if uh, number of holes extra or the additional holes required to be move on the index plate So this is about the gear cutting on the milling machine. Hope you have all understand the gear cuttings on the milling machine. So this is how the gears have been generated after the gear cutting on the milling machine. These are the number of teeth and uh, there is a teeth space between these two teeth. Thank you.